Geraldo Rivera. He's recently left Fox News after 22 years at the network. <laughs> uh, They're happy for you. And he was, when we were younger, he was my favorite rock and roll guy because he had a show here on ABC. Mm. And I am always thrilled to see you because that's what I remember. I don't remember anything between. I just remember <laughs> rock and roll and you. Please welcome Geraldo Rivera. Hi, everybody. I love you, Rupert. I've always uh, I've loved you for decades, and it's delightful to be here. Thank you. Nice to have you. Yeah. So, um, so last month you officially left Fox, as Whoopi I said. Did. Left is a good way. Please. Yeah. Well, at first you said that you left voluntarily. We all say that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Joy? Exhibit A, right here. Well, you wanted to be the most famous unemployed person in the country. Well, you don't want to burn a bridge and you say, yeah, you don't want to, like, say they fired me and then it's a nasty, you know. So you say that you left voluntarily. But now we know that you did not, right? Well, I was, I was fired from the five. Yeah. Uh, the kind of uh, the antithesis of this program, mm -hmm. the flip side. The, the copycat. The bitter enemy, program. the copycat, okay. Uh, I was fired from the five. I had a very toxic relationship with uh, another of the cast members. Which one? Is <laughs> it Ryan with I, I, may, I may get there. I may get there if okay. you're really. If, if you really yeah, you yeah, if you check the internet. Uh, so I got a call from two of the female executives, and they said, you're, you're off the five. Uh, but there are plenty of other things you could do. I had a year and a half left on my contract. Uh, and I said, well, stop it. If you fired me from the number one show, then I'm going to quit. Mm. Uh, and that's basically what happened. But in the interim, as uh, in the days uh, that le led up to my last day of work, they were so kind to me, Joy. They really were so nice, remembering all the things we did together. Uh, over the 20 odd years, remember, I went there to be a war correspondent yeah. after the 9-11 attacks uh, killed. Uh, Why couldn't they build you another show? Well, I, they, they could have, I, I guess. Uh, so but wait. The, my ideology does not fit Fox. Right. Yeah. So they always kind of squeezed me in. I, they came, I came as a war correspondent. I did 11 assignments in Iraq, 11 assignments in Afghanistan, the East, Somalia. Uh, the, the, you know, every hot spot on the globe, all the Hurricane Katrina and so forth. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, when Osama bin Laden was killed in, uh, in 2011, I was blessed to be on the air to announce to the American people, break the news, uh, that the person who had caused all the suffering for my friends and, and uh, uh, you know, six dads from my kids' uh, grade school were killed yeah. in the towers. Uh, the guy that did that to us, the reason I went to Fox, uh, was gone. I should have left Fox then in yeah. 2011, but I didn't have the But you were fighting with one of your co-hosts on that thing, and yet right. they wanted you out. That's well, interesting. Well, that's what I was going to ask you is, yeah. you, you mentioned that things got toxic between you and a co-host. Mm -hmm. Do you do you think it was that kind of things getting personal that had you um, kind of taken off? Sure, sure. And also, I thought yeah. that it was very unfair that I was not judged objectively in our disputes, but rather uh, he was always favored uh, and I was the one, I was suspended, uh, you know, three times. Uh, my appearances, I had two, three appearances scheduled weekly, then bi-weekly, then monthly, then they mm -hmm. kind of disappeared. They were canceled in the last day, uh, you know, right before the, uh, I was supposed to go on. So I was really ticked off. Uh, so I, it's a guy, we know I, that. It's a, okay, it's a guy. So it's uh, not Janine. It, it's no, not Janine. Janine, I love Janine. I, I discovered Janine in the that 1990s. One. She was a district attorney, and I put her on TV uh, during yeah. the Simpson oh, case. Wow. So, uh, you know, everything came to everything. Now I'm not mad at anybody. Now I'm a free person. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. I'm 80 years old. I love my wife. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Tweeted though that you don't know whether you're angry or excited. Do you are you finding yourself kind of going between those two feelings, or do you know where you stand today? Well, that's a that's a great question, and I, I kind of change when I uh, when I, I bitterness sometimes seeps in, and you say, oh, uh, you know, that's a bunch of BS. It's a process. And, you know, it's, it, it is a process. I, I I think, in listening to your previous discussion in the last segment, that the, Fox had a moral crisis mm -hmm. after the election. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, everyone knows I was close to Donald Trump for decades. Uh, you can boo or cheer. We came up together in New York uh, from the 1970s. He was different. He was a New York character. He was a New York character. I went to yeah, his right. wedding. And, and I did Celebrity Apprentice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, 
Uh, and then, uh, you know, as fate would have it, just weeks after I did Celebrity Apprentice, he announced for, uh, for the presidency. So, I mean, how many people have, uh, you know, their uh, friend, a drinking buddy, although he didn't drink, I did, uh, <laughs> in the White House as the President of the United States? He gave me tremendous access. He was always very nice to me, even though he knew I didn't vote for him. Uh, so, you know, uh, wow, I, have really different, I have a different image of Trump. What happened to him? What happened to him was he lost the election and became a crazy guy. He I was mean, crazy before that. Uh, well, he... he... <laughs> I think he was crazy before that. He was. What are you talking about? I mean, he was a misogynist was and a crazy. racist well, before let, then. Well, he, well let he was always question. nice to me. I, I, but you're right. You're right. And I understand. you know you were I, Puerto Rican? Let her... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Puerto Ricans like Donald Trump. I know, you know, I know, I know they're... I'm not one so of them. Right. Geraldo, I, I, I'm glad you mentioned when you broke the Bin Laden news, because I remember that. I've watched you my whole life. Thank I was you. a um, lifelong you. Fox viewer, and I also used to appear on Fox quite a bit. I was on January 7th condemning Trump after January 6th. I have, I have to ask, how do the journalists like, your, like yourself at Fox feel about the descent into lies, misinformation, and disinformation that's taken over the airwaves by many of the po political commentator-type folks? Well... Let me just say, first of all, that I am vowed to dedicate whatever energy I have left in the, the, in the profession to ensure that he is not re-elected president ever. Uh, I think that what he did on, in the days and weeks leading up to January 6th and on January 6th yeah. uh, was so unforgivable. He stabbed the Constitution of the United States in the back. And I, I really, uh, even though I still have affection for him and remember the good times, uh, because of that, he is disqualified, I believe, from ever being president of the United States again. Mm -hmm. uh, the journalists at Fox, and you talk about these, uh, uh, you know, these guys uh, who help form it and how they feel about it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great journalists at Fox. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Pentagon, the White House, Jennifer uh, the, the uh, Jennifer Griffin's yeah. the, one of the best ever. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you put their reporting up against everybody. Brett Baer, Brett Baer is a wonderful, yeah, wonderful actor. Um, but to um, imagine the situation where there is a, a lie, the lie being that January 6th particularly was a setup, was a federal uh, undercover job. Uh, and then to, to uh, without necessarily endorsing the position, but putting it on the air and giving it credibility, I think is really a sin for which they paid, and whoopee, you made the point, $787 million is a big I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that Fox News is I'm sorry. Uh, right now, and I think you got to give them another chance. Well, Conservatives deserve yeah. to have their own uh, outlet. I'd, I'd like to follow that thread, okay, the $787.5 okay. million seeing you dollar at the settlement. Parade. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and actually, we were drinking buddies in Ferguson. I don't know if you <laughs> that remember, too, remember Recall that. that. Oh my God. That was fun. Um, Fox News has other legal troubles that are sort of, you know, floating around. Um, they don't stop with Dominion. You've got Smartmatic. You've got A.B. Grossberg, who I, I just heard settled. Um, just 12 yesterday, million. $12 million. Just yesterday, someone else, Ray Epps, filed a defamation lawsuit alleging that the network's well he should have. coverage yeah. ruined his life. Yes, it's terrible. Um, as someone who was working there, I also worked there. I'm, sh I'm ashamed of it. Um, <laughs> up until a few, you worked there up until a few weeks ago. Do you think Fox News has any credibility at this point? I mean, should it be called Fox News Network or, you know? No, I heard, I heard that, and I, I understand the bitterness that people feel toward the network for that uh, really, I, I think, disgraceful, uh, uh, purposeful ignorance of, of what really happened. They knew it happened, yeah, and they lying. allowed, they allowed oh. people to, yeah. To, yeah. to promote an idea that was absolutely absurd. Uh, I, I, but... Everybody at Fox was not engaged in that lie. Remember, I called Tucker Carlson's theory of January 6th below, uh, bull. You did. And I, and I was in the Washington Post very clear that uh, everyone knew that what happened on January 6th was that President Trump incited a riot. He encouraged those people yeah. to go there and ruin their lives attacking the capital of the United States. Yeah, and right. I think that... Uh, that everybody knew that. They should have stuck with that. It is an embarrassment that will be very hard uh, for Fox to live down. They will have to pay. There are stockholder lawsuits because where's that money yes. coming from? Yes, of course, the Murdochs, but every shareholder at Fox yeah. is, uh, is This now... is such music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm... I'm, saying, I'm saying things, and I understand that 
Uh, you know, I am an insider. I really do appreciate the many people who worked with me over those 22 years. I took their money for 22 years. Uh, I, I had that wonderful uh, send-off uh, by my, the guys, uh, you know, Steve and Brian and... Uh, 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 everybody. Uh, everybody. 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 Yeah, except yeah. except Son, the guy that Son we can get along Sean with. Sean and Ainsley. Okay. I mean, they're really wonderful people. Son. I have a legal note. Yes. Fox News and Tucker Carlson's lawyer have not responded to the Ray Epps lawsuit. They will. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they have but to. Imagine that if you're like Ray Epps and you're in the crowd and they blame you for the whole thing. I would yeah. sue, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know we were speaking a little bit about the recent firings at Fox. Um, what are your thoughts on Tucker Carlson's new Twitter show? And do you think the fact that his, his viewership is plummeting, that it shows kind of uh, uh, his influence is waning? Well, I hope so. Uh, yeah. and, and I, you know, the Twitter is a fine outlet. I don't even know how to get on Thread or uh, some of these <laughs> other. I have to ask my my 17 year old, seems to be 18 year old daughter, how to do it. So, uh, I, I think that he is an excellent writer. I think that he uh, was uh, very uh, charismatic in his presentation. Uh, he was number one for a reason. It was a pretty good show. Uh, then he drifted into this murky area where, swampy area where, uh, you know, uh, these conspiracy theories, yeah, and uh, it's not just January 6th, a whole bunch of different uh, uh, mucky kind of conspiracies. Um, will he still have that influence? Fox is a tremendous platform, and once you lose that platform, yep. uh, you're kind of screaming in the wilderness and competing with a lot of other people who have podcasts and so forth. So will he be the same character? I don't know. Will he, you know, when he was on Fox, they were saying he was going to be a candidate uh, no. for the Republican nomination. Yeah. Uh, that's clearly not Put a fork in it. Yeah. Uh, put a, well, I mean, when, when, because put a fork in it. You know, I, I, don't, I don't like to be unkind, but that, what he did, it, it, just as I would never vote for Donald Trump, I will never forgive Tucker for what he did about yeah. January 7th. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. No, you're, right. you're a class act. I have to ask, though, so I've mentioned before, all the great journalists at Fox. Um, one, Jackie Heinrich, it came out through the course of the Dominion lawsuit that Tucker Carlson texted execs that she should be fired because she was telling the truth about the election not yeah. being stolen. Do you see the morale for actual journalists at Fox changing, and do you think that the executives well, are going to protect them? That's a great question. I, I don't know the answer. It just seems to me that there, was a, there is a period now of fear mm -hmm. at Fox. Oh. I, I believe that there is an atmosphere that because of the Dominion settlement, $787 million, and these other cases, the $12 million for the, uh, uh, for the woman who, with her allegations, and they're cutting back now. They're firing a lot of people. And I think that the, uh, the, the crush of that retrenchment, as they try to make up for those huge settlements uh, paid and to come, uh, it's the little guy and girl who are the, the object of the accountant's uh, wrath. That, mm -hmm. All right, let, we, let's lose three of these jobs or five of those jobs. And I think that the uh, the journalists, uh, you know, the, the I think the high profile journalists are fine. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens to the the staffers, young and old? I I, I wonder and I worry about them. Uh, I I will say that generally speaking, I haven't. I'm, you know, once the pandemic happened and everybody emptied out. And then the process of re, uh, retooling everything, uh, very slow. And I, I never really, by that time I was living in Cleveland, I, I wasn't spending a lot of time in the Fox building, so I can't really judge morale yeah. writ okay. large, but I do know that there's real fear about being uh, retrenched. Or... Okay, we only have 45 seconds Ooh, left. And I want to ask you this, because I know you already said you were an old friend of his, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and uh, I think I read this, or... The producer told me that you said that Biden should should pardon Trump right. if he makes the deal to not run for the presidency. I believe that. What makes you think that even if he pardoned him, this guy would disappear? He he's he's like you know he's here forever. Well, he's I, never going to go I, away. He was already been impeached a couple of times. I, I want uh, you, you know him to move on in his life. He had a pretty good presidency. I, I know that a lot of people don't want, like, want to admit that, but I think he had a pretty good presidency. But wouldn't that uh, have him admit that he was, okay. he's a criminal if he says he's being pardoned? Well, but if he's pardoned by Biden, then I think everyone could come together but again. Well, no, I, 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 well, I don't think being pardoned I, is I don't, yeah, I don't think he's really. I just think, you know what I want? I want him to cop to the fact 
that he broke the law, yeah. that he did things... I don't, I don't think that, that would happen. Well, I, I, I don't think it... And that's why I don't think he should get pardoned, because someone who Fair doesn't enough. say, you know, yeah. I recognize... I, 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 remember, recognize I remember a guy who issue. could have fired me on Celebrity Apprentice and didn't. <laughs> this is not I hate to make it so but, this but that's the, the same country. reason it's not about you. I know, I know. It's not about you. I, know. I'm, 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 I apologize for my, uh, it's about the my, it was a joke. my privilege. Anywho, <laughs> anywho. Thanks, Geraldo. Thank you, Thanks Thank for you coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.